Okay, so yes, I'm leaving Telephone Pioneer Shelter. And that was William and his mother, Colleen. Um, didn't get into it, but <clears throat> William and his mother and his father were all riding bikes together somewhere in New York City area, but outside in the burbs. And <clears throat> his father um, started to pass them just on a bike and something freaky happened. He caught his handlebar on her handlebars and he flew and hit his head directly into a telephone pole <clears throat> and he died. And it was so sad and um, I asked William a question. I says, William, tell me something that a lot of people don't know about you. Not a secret, but just something that most people at your school is open that many people don't know. And he's like, and he thought about it. <clears throat> and he said, and my father, and he told the story about his father. <clears throat> I was like, wow. Holy smokes. And he was such a smart, smart kid. Talked to him a whole lot. <clears throat> so it was really nice meeting him. And then someone else, another guy came in with his two daughters. And they, William was 12. His daughters were 13 and 11. And this guy has a plan to run a marathon in every state of the country. And so far, he said he's ran in 30 different states. And I thought, wow. And then <clears throat> another guy comes in. He's like, ah, oh, I'm beat. And I asked how many miles. He's like, well, I did 27 today, 34 yesterday. I mean, oh, my God, these people are, he did 27 miles. And uh, it's just amazing. So he was talking about things that he did and there's just some pretty impressive people out here and it's just interesting and that's kind of what I really like going against the grain going south when everyone is going north because every time I camp there's a new person or two with a, a little tidbit of a story. And most of the time, you get to camp and people are cooking their meals or something, and then by 8.30 or 9, people are going to bed. So I get to camp, 6.30, sometimes 7. It takes me an hour to set up my tent because they have all the doodads. And then sit, eat a little bit, chat a little bit for about a half an hour and people are going to bed tonight was a little longer last night but that was still pretty cool so, telephone pioneer shelter William is going to do well I was really impressed with that boy oh okay so now I have a tough climb and then a whole lot of mostly flat with a bunch of ups and downs and I am going to take my time but on the flat areas I am going to try to walk fast and if I can get close to uh, the next shelter in eight miles at around one or two I may go ahead and try for a second shelter, which is 16.8 miles from here. So, we'll see. Talk to you later.